All right, fellas, what's going on? Donato here, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And uh, in this video here, we're going to be talking about Hideo Kojima's new baby, uh, Death Stranding. Uh, they basically had a new uh, teaser trailer drop. And again, just like the other one, it's like, it, it just leaves you thinking like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know, uh, it basically showed, um, I'm going to probably butcher his name, but Guillermo del Toro. And uh, he was carrying this little baby machine egg sack looking thing. Uh, basically, I guess you can call it an artificial womb, I guess. And uh, it showed him running from what appears to be like German SS soldier types, you know, covered with guts and everything. Um, and basically, he ran into like this sewer tunnel or whatever. And he basically encountered uh, the guy from Doctor Strange. What's his name? Uh, Michael Mick Michael Mickelson something like that I forget what his name is but he's the he's the bad guy in Doctor Strange and um and I think he was uh in wasn't it Hannibal or something he was in like the Hannibal uh, show I think could be wrong never watched you know the, the Hannibal TV show so it could be wrong but I know he's the bad guy in Doctor Strange and um it showed him I guess he was hunting for the baby I guess I'm assuming uh Giel del yeah, Guillermo del Toro. <laughs> I'm gonna probably mess his name up all throughout this uh, commentary here. He looked like he had stitches across his forehead, like somebody like you know sliced his head open. And uh, uh, Doctor Strange, bad guy. Because <laughs> I'm I'm not sure I got his name right, but I think I did. But uh, he's at the end of this tunnel, and he just appears, and he has these other soldier type guys with cables running from him. And it looks like they were his attack dogs, so to speak. Because I got the same vibe that, let's say, if you guys ever seen, uh, what was it, Chronicles of Riddick? Uh, they had the same kind of characters where guys would walk around and these guards would be attached to them by cables so that they can look through what the guards see. And the guards would, would, would go around the situation and then release the guys and they would go around looking for whoever it is, look at them, and then the guard would know where they were. Um, this looks like it may be something similar because because he had them on like some kind of magical leashes or whatever and then they as they ran off the cables disappeared and then it showed like whatever this black ooze is pouring from um, Doctor Strange bad guy's face and it's all that they all got World War two gear on I see them with M1s and Garens and everything but then you see uh, Doctor Strange bad guy look like he got a modern-day assault rifle with a night vision and, and all of that shit so Either this is like only stylized for the trailer, meaning like, you know, unless this is just some weird trippy shit and then the game's going to be about something completely different, the time, you know, the timeline that this game, plays uh, that this game takes place in is all over the place. You have World War II tanks with guts on them and then you have old school weaponry and then you got him with modern day weaponry and modern day stuff. And it's just like, it's it makes for a weird, trippy trailer. That's why I said at the beginning, it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know? Don't know what's going on. Why are they hunting this artificial wound with, with babies in it? Why are they showing a bunch of babies as imagery like humans can't conceive and we conceive like the new first newborn baby in like 100 years and everybody wants it kind of sort of thing? Um, or, just throwing this out there, um, I know that they were planning to make the, the next Silent Hill game, right? But what if instead of doing that, uh, Hideo just pretty much, this is just his not Silent Hill knockoff. Because for those of you who don't know, Silent Hill as a game is one of those things where it's like a magical town that sucks people in and then you can basically see anything the town wants you to see, you know? So it could be that maybe they're, it's doing something like that. Maybe that's what the game is about. That would make sense because of the weird trippiness of the trailers. They could show anything they want. You know, you know, they don't have to be stuck to a particular time or to a particular place. They can just show all of this weird, freaky, nasty imagery at you and have it make you know sense in the game's perspective. You know, because it's it's magical. It's like Silent Hill. It's, there, there's no realistic mindset to it you know you don't have to come to terms or explain anything it's just oh shit why am i seeing all this weird trippy shit oh it's just it, it's magical i guess you can't explain it you know so unless that's the kind of vein that they're going with and they're just making a 
their own Silent Hill knockoff kind of sort of thing. And that's what I think they're doing. But, to be honest, it looks great. <laughs> so, I know I'm going to play it when it comes out. I'm a huge fan of Hideo Kojima's games. Um, I'm a huge Metal Gear fan, so I, I love everything he does for the most part. It, he kills it. Even Zone of Enders and all that stuff. That's like um, another one of my favorite games that he was a part of. And um, I'm going to probably play the hell out of this whenever it drops. Uh, it, it, it looks too good to pass up. The part that uh, is, is weird to me is normally most games have a centralized main character. I'm assuming that's going to be Norman Reedus. But then why would you have Guill Guillermo del Toro in the game too? Is, is he going to be like maybe this game's going to be about them too? Or maybe even let's say a group of people. Maybe as the, you know, as the months and, and the year goes on maybe we'll get more trailers showing different people. And maybe the trailers are going to tell you like a mini story unto themselves. That's what I think is happening. I read an article that pretty much said that somebody played, if you play both of the trailers side by side, the baby that Norman Reedus has in his trailer, when that disappears, that's at the same time that the baby in Guillermo del Toro's trailer appears. So maybe the story of the game centralizes around whatever this baby is or, or whatever the concept the baby represents because uh, it could be life it could be reason it could be sanity it could be a bunch of things and uh maybe different characters go through whatever this silent hill type thing is and then that represents their sanity or whatever you know it could be a bunch of people in the game that you play as versus just one is what i'm trying to say and uh maybe that could be a thing uh, but I'm assuming, you know, each trailer that drops for this game, by them even just having that that baby disappear and reappear in his trailer at the same exact time, that the teasers and the trailers are going to tell a story unto itself. And it's going to be one of those things where you probably won't understand what's going on until you play the game. <laughs> but um, I know I can't wait to do that, so... Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. My name is Dananu, the man with the biggest and the most blackest privilege on YouTube. And I will see you guys in the next commentary video. Peace out.